back to school, back to school, to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. Good day, you beautiful happy humans. Guess what? School's back. We'll leave it at that. School is back. School is back, so we get some alone time. Uh, only a couple hours of alone time at Disney yeah. Springs, but that's still hey, more we're alone Disney. time. We're alone. We're good. So yeah, we're here at Disney Springs. We are going to do some really cool things. We're going to go to Polite Pig because they've got a chef special. I think it's like burnt ends with a coffee rub and a really cool barbecue sauce. We've got some things over at what is the ice cream place, Salt Nicole? We've got some, some things over at Salt and Straw. There's some very flavors he wants to try, but I'm not so sure about. Yeah, one is like a potato salad ice cream. With chocolate? Yes, with, with chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, uh, Joffrey's has like their fall flavors of pumpkin and like all their fun things because if you're, you know, I guess into those things. What? Then another stop too. Oh yeah, so uh, this uh, <laughs> messy, well. Uh, uh, kids aren't with us and I made a mess. Yeah. We stopped at the gas station like we always do. Yeah. They didn't have our jalapeno colache that we usually get for breakfast. So we got a jalapeno hot dog instead with some ground mustard on it. And most of the mustard ended up on my outfit. Yeah. So. New outfit, unique clothes. We're going to look for a new outfit. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to walk around too. covered in mustard all day. Yeah. So anyway, let's go do things. Let's go try some food. Let's have a grand day. got the um, frozen pumpkin pie latte at uh, Joffrey's and it's yummy. I, I enjoy it and Tyler said he enjoyed it too. Let me see if my face makes the same enjoyed face that I made when I had it the first time. <laughs> it's so good. I love it so much. <laughs> Fancy you look right now. I think I look cute, but I don't know if I'll regret getting white pants. As for someone who just spilled mustard all over themselves, I feel like I made a brave choice in getting white pants. That's true. Well, let's go to the world of Disney and uh, see if we can make any other brave choices and maybe find something cool that's a Halloween trick or treat type thing. I mean, it's only August, right? So it uh, only makes sense for pumpkin things to be out and Halloween stuff to be out. I'm not bitter. Check this jacket out right here. This is like very David Pumpkins-ish like vibes. That's the vibes it's giving me right now. I think it's pretty cool. Actually, it looks really good with that uh, hooded sweatshirt too. But we don't usually come in this way when we come here and shop, and uh, especially here at the Disney store. It's kind of a cool entrance. We always come in the other way and kind of walk out this way. So it's kind of cool to get a fresh perspective on this entrance over here. There's puzzles right here. How much are the puzzles? Seven? Well, not $70.99 for the puzzle. The puzzle's got to be Puzzle's $24.99. Kind of weird. Looks like it's, hey, that puzzle's $80. That puzzle must talk to you if you're gonna pay $80 for it. What else we got over here? There's a haunted mansion, glowing wreath of flowers. $39.99. Oh, it's a veil. It's available for you to purchase. <laughs> so stupid. This is a cool lounge fly over here. Ah, look, it's got trumpets, it's got drums, it's got a bell, it's got a, I forget, there's a tambourine, candles, lounge fly. Wow, there's a lot of cool Haunted Mansion stuff here. I kind of digging this vibe here. What if they have any new uh, munchlings available? <laughs> Check this 
out. Supposedly, this is the in-demand unicorn thing of the season between like people that love Disney things. Uh, I don't know if I'd necessarily use unicorn. I'd probably use Great Pumpkin. That's probably the one thing because you're never going to see the Great Pumpkin. You got a better chance of seeing a unicorn than you're going to see a, a Great Pumpkin over here. All right, let's head to the Halloween stuff. What is this? A trick-or-treat bucket for ants? It's got to be at least three times the size of this. All right, Nicole, so maybe the pumpkin thing is not the unicorn you thought it was because... There's like three or four in the store. Already. We've seen quite a few of them here in the store. Maybe the initial run was. Yeah, I still think that they're not the easiest to come by if you don't live at Disney. But. Yeah. Some cool stuff in the store today. Oh, look at this little guy here. A little Grogu and a jack o' lantern. Yeah, oh, pretty cute. People love the Grogu. Uh, Dar bubble. It's over the Christmas store. I yeah. found what I was looking for. Yay, which for is her. The bag. <laughs> okay, so here's a quick tip. If you want like a little holiday flair, um, usually like Halloween, Christmas, they have these reusable bags. And like with our discount, they're like less than five bucks, but it's like probably the cheapest holiday merch you're gonna get in any of the stores. <laughs> Quick tip from Thrifty Nick78 on the Instagrams. We are now heading to the real meat of the video. The polite pig. We're gonna get some food over here. It's uh, burnt ends with coffee rub. Nicole wants to show you something. So I've always I bought the kids Legos, but I've never got my own Lego set before. And I got my first own Lego set, and it's a Halloween one. I'm so excited. It's Tom and Jerry, actually. It's a black cat and it's a little mouse and a pumpkin. I'm so excited to put it together. Just wanted to say that. So. This is the biscuit burnt ends, which is um, a signature coffee rub on this. And uh, yeah, quarter barbecue sauce paired with sweet corn pudding, which you saw right there. And uh, fried pickled okra with lime pimento cheese. So uh, Nicole already dug in. She said it's so tender like butter. And uh, it looks very, very tender. I'm really curious to try this coffee rub on here, to be honest with you. Uh, and I don't think I've ever had fried okra. Maybe I've had fried okra before. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I'm literally cutting into this with my with my fork. This is uh, limited time only as well. It just smells tremendous. Mm hmm. Melts in your mouth. Just let it melt in your mouth. It doesn't legit melt in your mouth. Don't take for what we say as like the actual truth, but it's so tender. It doesn't legit melt in your mouth. You know what I mean. Sweet corn pudding. So this meal overall, I think, was what? $24.99? I think it's worth it. We always um, talk about like food being valued. This is going to be a single person, but Nicole and I share. Because we're going to get some ice cream after this. So again, just be cognizant of what you want to order, what you want to eat. We love food, but we really try to do our best not to indulge ourselves with too much. Because we just want to try all these other things. So uh, we try not to be wasteful. Man, I, I love this so much. I'm going to try it with the pudding at the same time. I've got a little bit of jungle on here with uh, sweet corn pudding and, and some, uh, some of the meat. Oh, God. Mm. The Plight Pig has actually been one of our favorite places to go to all the time whenever we come to Disney Springs. We've taken people here. We've taken friends here. We've taken enemies here. We take everybody here. It's so good. And it's a really good value for the price, too. You can get a lot for the food, and you get good quality food. Absolutely a banger. Absolutely a banger. Time to head into Salt and Straw to try some of these limited edition flavors. Like I said, they got a chocolate potato salad, cinnamon, and honey fried chicken. And they both sound absolutely tremendous. This is going to be amazing. We'll give them all a yes, try. Of course, we're going to give them all a try. We'll make our decision. Ooh, baked brie and fig cheesecake. These sound amazing. We can try them all. No, we're going to try them all, and then we're going to buy one 
goat cheese marionberry habanero. Last chance scoops. I haven't even tried that one so yet. Which one is this? All right. Cinnamon and honey fried chicken. Ooh, okay. okay. Thank you. I think there's a fried chicken of some sort at last year, right? But who knows? Hmm. Not bad. Oh. I like the honey. I love this. Is so chicken good. Aftertaste. Chicken aftertaste. No, but it's really, really good. Okay. What do we got now? Okay. Yeah, you like fruity ice creams. Just like no. a cherry pie. It does. And that's absolutely amazing. It's spot on. I have uh, never been disappointed with anything here. Okay, what do we got? Chocolate potato salad. Oh, this is the one he really This is the one try. I want to try the chocolate potato salad. You I say heard it's like a so mustard what's base? Yes, it's a spice mustard base. Spicy mustard base. And potato chips. Now I've had potato chips and ice cream before, but never mustard. Actually, that's part of the reason why you changed your outfit today, Nicole, because of the uh, mustard incident you had, like the spaghetti it's incident. It's not bad, but it has an interesting aftertaste. <laughs> I'm all for it. I like, I like that it. a lot. Yeah. I didn't taste the mustard. Oh, okay. If you like cheesecake, it's really, really good. Okay. Mmm. I like that. That one's good. So far, my favorite, though, is the cinnamon and honey fried chicken. Really? I like the chocolate potato salad. I didn't taste the mustard, though, too much. Okay, this is All right. my personal favorite, the pink okay. rosé and watermelon sorbet. This is Meliani's personal favorite. Oh, wow. It's very refreshing. Oh. It's a pretty strong flavor. It's a very strong flavor. It's very good. It's also vegan, too. Yes. So can I try the last chance scoop of the goat cheese, yeah. habanero, marionberry? Oh, my gosh. Right, so which one? You, you, know, you get to choose. I'll let you know my two cents or three cents because I well, we stack with my weight. Cinnamon and honey fried chicken. Uh, what do you foodies say? Well, let's do it. This is the last one. Curds oh, yeah. and whey. That, that habanero gets shit the end. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Have you ever had the coffee chocolate? Nine now. Very lemony. Very lemony. The I don't think. It has a certain texture. It's like, yeah. yeah. And then we have one more last chance scoop, and it's the malted chocolate bar. I'm going to try that. Let's do it. Let's try another last chance scoop here. What a fun food day this has been. The malt flavor is kind of prominent, but it's like a lot Fig jam? Yes. Okay. Malted chocolate barley milk. This is another, um, this is actually another vegan one. Of course you would like it. Here's the thing. I'm not the biggest chocolate ice cream person. You are. Now we've got to figure out what we're going to share, Nicole. My pick is cinnamon and honey fried chicken. Okay. Do, you, do we want to get a single or a double? How hungry are you? Do you want to get a single cinnamon honey fried chicken and something else? Just do it. Just put it all together. Okay. It's not going to taste great, but we're going to do it. All right. So we're going to do a scoop of the sour cherry and the cinnamon honey fried chicken. Yeah. Surprisingly, the cherry ice cream and the cinnamon and honey fried chicken or honey and cinnamon well fried together. chicken, they worked really, really well together. That was so good. Also, surprisingly, it wasn't very busy here at all today. It's so quiet here today. Yeah. You can tell school's back in session. We pretty much walked on every ride Plus, we wanted to go in. Every ride. shop. Yeah, every shop we wanted well, to go in. It's, it's hot and like people are like, oh, it's so hot. Like, I guess we're used to it because I'm like, yeah, it's nice, but. Yeah, it's really enjoyable today. But uh, as you can tell, she changed her outfit. I changed my hairstyle. And uh, I don't know if uh, eating barbecue was a great idea after you bought white pants, Nicole, because you got, actually you have some, I'm just playing, there's no sauce on your pants. I was so careful. <laughs> I was so careful. Yeah, we got to go pick up the kids now from school. So that is our day here at Disney Springs. And uh, the food was tremendous, as always. Again, we have our go-tos. We really love the polite pig. And uh, salt and straw, always nice, always polite. So the cool thing we've never done at salt and straw yet, though, before I wrap this up, is that if you are a pass holder, you can't get pass holder discounts on the single scoop, but, but if you, get a pint, you can get a pint, get a pass holder. So, so if you can all agree to a flavor. Kids, we're going to do that one time. One time, and that's it. No more one, times after that. It. Well, if it works, then maybe we'll do it. Nope, one time, that's it. Anyway, guys, be a happy human. Peace out.